This is the rarest block in Minecraft history, the Nether Reactor Core. A block that was removed from Minecraft back in 2015 and is no longer in vanilla Minecraft. You might remember yourself trying it out or even using it as decoration for a new house. I have actually managed getting a copy of the block back into the game and explore and see what I can find out. What was it though? Why was it removed and what was even the purpose of it? Welcome to Minecraft Unsolved Mystery. It all started back in 2011 when Minecraft released a new game version, Minecraft Pocket Edition. Only problem is, old phones couldn't even handle the data. With that said, they decided to add another way to get a taste of the Nether experience before it was officially released, the Nether Reactor Core. You see, whenever placing it down in a specific structure and encasing it with 4 gold blocks and certain cobblestone, you can activate the Nether Spiral when right clicking it. The Nether Spiral was a generated square spiral tower made of Netherrack centered on the reactor. When spawned in, there would be multiple zombie pigmen trying to hunt you down, but there would also be a couple of loot chests with items, ranging anywhere from seeds, to sugarcane, cactus, mushrooms, and even nether quartz. It was quite difficult crafting, requiring 6 iron ingots and 3 whole diamonds. Why was it removed then? Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos, I'm trying to reach 10k. As I mentioned, they wanted to add the nether later on and the update was a temporary replacement for the nether. Have you guys ever seen this block and if so, did you know what the purpose of it was? Let me know down below in the comments and if you haven't, would you say it was a good replacement for the time being? I asked Minecraft veterans and some of my friends what their opinions were on the block. Here's what they said. The first time I ever saw another reactor was back in the old days of Pocket Edition, when I was like 4 or 5. Basically, my cousins and I all joined a world together and used a glitch to duplicate diamonds and gold into making full diamond armor and a sword. We then activated the nether reactor and killed tons of zombie pigmen. It was a really cool block and I'm really sad that they removed it. They should totally add it back into the game. The nether reactor core was, I think it was used for like, um, simulating the nether in like a chunk because like most phones and stuff didn't have enough power to actually like run the nether so they can have the whole nether dimension for mobile. But as for like building and stuff, I feel like the nether reactor core was one of those kind of blocks that you think it's cool to flex but it doesn't actually look that good like a diamond block, you know? Almost every single person I've asked their opinion on the block said they've used it to build their house. Why? Why did everyone use that block for their house? Was it the way it looked, or was that what Mojang intended in first place when adding the block? The nether reactor core uh, that I got to see it early, and, you know, and not a lot of people saw it, so that was cool. But yeah, they should have definitely waited because I feel like it could have been. It's 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 really cool, uh, you know, how it just spawns around you, and I feel like um, if it would have been released during the phones, uh, the actual uh, obsidian nether portal might not have existed, which could have been. You know, it would have been an alternate Minecraft, which that, that would have been pretty cool. Nether reactor cores are currently unobtainable except when using mods or add-ons. It's not available through commands or creative, but here comes the interesting part. If you had a pocket edition world that had a nether reactor core placed down in your specific world and was never destroyed, it can actually still exist in the latest version. How cool is that? I'm not really sure what the point of it was, but it seems like a cool idea. Here comes the tricky part, while doing my research and writing up the script and just finishing my video up, there wasn't much information on the block itself, rather there was much more information on how to use it and why it was even removed in the first place. There is literally no information on the design itself and it got me questioning why they decided to use that particular design. I don't know about you guys, but when I first started playing Minecraft, I thought it was a yellow flower with some blue background. Maybe I could use it for a floor to my new house and I literally had no clue that it was even a laser reactor in first place. I'm just confused as wouldn't it have made much more sense to make it red so it has a similar color pattern to the nether but also to redstone and redstone blocks I mean 
I have so many unanswered questions that sadly I can't even get the answer to as there isn't much information online or at least any information that I can get in hold of. In conclusion, the Nether Reactor Core was a temporarily update and was used instead of the Nether Portal due to phones lacking the hardware needed. While some people may have used the block for the Nether, others, such as I, use it for decoration. That's where I want to leave the video off. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. See you this next time.